I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm back at you guys with some more Andrew Tate content. We got Andrew Tate versus Pierce Morgan. Now, I kind of have some mixed opinions about Pierce Morgan and Andrew Tate, but I know that they're both titans of their values, so we're going to be checking them out, seeing what they got to say about what they're thinking and everything like that. Just trying to be a sponge, you know what I mean? If you guys want to check me out, anything else, it's all going to be linked down below. We drop banger balls every single Friday. Uh, but yeah, we got Andrew Tate versus Pierce Morgan. Let's get it. Do you respect women? Absolutely. Why wouldn't I? Do you think that 18, 19 year old women are more attractive than 25 year old women? I think there's attractive people. Uh, that's, that's a loaded question. I don't know. Well, it's not really, is it? I, I can't. You know sit, why I'm asking you? Of course I do, but I can't sit well, here and for say. For the benefit of viewers who don't know why I'm asking, you said this. In general, this is also one of the reasons men find youth attractive. You want to block the internet? I'll block the internet right effing now. The reason 18 and 19 year olds are more attractive than 20. By the way, in case you guys are curious, I am 19 years old. Five year olds is because they've been through less dick. People say, oh, you can't say that, but yes, I can. A 19-year-old is more attractive than a 26-year-old woman. He can't say that. He most definitely can't say that. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. I'll tell you why. Because that 26-year-old has talked to more guys, been to the club more times, been effed and dumped more times, more arguments, more mess, more for me to clean. I think naturally. I feel like just like a part of growing up, you know what I'm now, saying? That is misogyny. Why? Because you are encouraging a mindset about 25-year-old women that makes them sound out to be infinitely less desirable than 18, 19-year-olds and having effectively been... Is that misogyny? Who's the misogyny, like, hating women? In ...having too much sex to be taken in a more respectful way. That would, well, firstly, even if that was the case, that wouldn't be misogyny. Well, what did you mean by what you said? That's not misogyny because it's not- All right, let me just double check real quick. We're gonna be looking up this definition so I don't sound stupid. All right, so it's the dislike, contempt for ingrained prejudice against women and an example is violence against women, which includes domestic violence and in its most extreme forms, misogynistic terrorism and femicide. I don't know what exactly those words mean, but- hey, women, I'm, I'm saying that. I don't know what, I guess I would just like, I kind of actually, I understand that. I think like femicide or genocide types. An 18 yeah. or 19 year old woman would be more desirable. It's pretty anti-20. I don't, see that's the one thing, bro. And it's like the same thing with like a lot of like weight stuff and stuff like that. Like I, people have preferences, you know what I'm saying? 25-year-old women. Anti-25-year-old women we can argue, but not misogynistic. Well, that's misogyny. Well, that's, that's, no, 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 it's not. Well, being anti any woman at all is misogyny. Not when I'm, not when I'm saying that women are beautiful and attractive. If you dislike somebody who's a girl, or a woman. That doesn't make you misogynist. Well, oh, being anti any woman right. at all is misogynist. Not when I'm not when I'm saying but that women are beautiful and attractive still, at a certain right? age and saying the age. You're saying right? 18, 19 years are more attractive than 25. Well, then ageist perhaps, but misogynistic absolutely. Is that when it? But you just accepted it was misogyny. No, I didn't. You said it was misogyny. I'm telling you, no. It was Wait, yeah, what? Misogynistic absolutely. Is that not. when it? But you just accepted it was misogyny. No, I didn't. You said an ageist perhaps, but misogynistic absolutely. Is that not. when it? But you just accepted 19 year olds are more attractive than 25. Well, then ageist perhaps, but misogynistic absolutely. Is that not. when it? But you just accepted it was misogyny. See, this is the type of shit that I was talking about for Piers Morgan, bro. And some of the shit just, that he said, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, to be fair, not one time there did he say that. No, I didn't. You said it was more I'm yeah. telling you, no, it's not. But if a 26-year-old woman is watching... I'm just saying, to be fair. Heard those no, I mean, yeah. Would you just say to her, I, look, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. No, I won't. I will say that I am sorry that that offends you. However, there's a large contingent of the world... That doesn't and, mean you're sorry. Uh, no, I'm not sorry. That's the point I'm making. I'm sorry if that offends you. However, there's a large contingent of the world that believe that, and I was mediating... For this does feel, I'm not going to lie, this interview already feels very, like, curated, like, extremely pre-planned. Kind of like one of the, like we see it all the time with a lot of different interviews. Like it seems like it had a plan going into it. It's gonna hit a bunch of cue words and stuff like that. Get people amped up. Thing started with that uh, he was like a TikToker, banned misogynistic TikToker or something like that. For a conversation. Know. Parts of the world that believe but, that about twenty-six-year-old women are parts of the world where women are not allowed out on their own. That's your. That's a conversation. They have to now. wear full burkas. Well, that's a conversation. They're not now. allowed to drive cars. That's nothing to do with. But me. is that the kind of? Well, for a woman that you... I was, mediating a, I was mediating a conversation. No, I'm asking you what you think. I, I don't live in a country where that happens. You're using that as the excuse for why you're not sorry for saying it. It's not an excuse. Is it there are parts of the world... I'm just actually... I'm, now I'm just genuinely confused. Like, what the fuck are they talking about? Oh, well, this is fine. My friend. So my question to you is, well, do you think it's fine? I don't think it's fine. I live in a world where... You don't think it's fine? My... The reason this I... Isn't... No, let them talk. It's fine. I don't, at least, like, don't at least I, don't talk. I live in a world where you don't think it's fine. My, 
The reason this I... isn't that hard, Andrew. You can simply say beers. You know what? With the benefit of hindsight, I wish I hadn't said it like that. And if a 26-year-old woman's watching, I'm sorry I said that because that actually is. Yeah, like he's just trying to get him to say sorry about something. I said it like that. And if a 26, you know what? With the benefit of hindsight, I wish I hadn't said it like that. And if a 26-year-old yeah, woman's weird. watching, that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry though, like, I said that because that this actually isn't an is right blatantly now. misogynist. And even though that's a view held by other parts of the world, it's not a view I share. Now, I would respect you more if you said that yeah. than if you try and say, well, it's said in other parts of the world, so I'm not sorry. I think you. That need, doesn't tell me what you think. Then you need to understand why my content existed in the. To be fair, I'm just saying. If you want him to answer a question, let him. First place. My content existed because I tried my very hardest to be an absolute not a realist, especially with uncomfortable truths. Hmm. I was pointing out that very uncomfortable. Is that a truth? truth. It's an uncomfortable truth in many parts of the world. It's not a truth that I'm happy about. An inquest this week found that a 14-year-old girl, Molly Russell, died from an act of self-harm while suffering from depression and the negative effects of online content. The coroner said she was exposed to material that may have influenced her in a negative way, and in addition, what started as depression had become a much more serious depressive illness, and she very sadly took her life. That's, that's absolutely disgusting. Right. Her father... That's terrible. Her father's campaign for better protections against potentially dangerous social media algorithms, right? It says that the particularly graphic content she saw romanticized acts of self-harm, normalized her condition, and focused on a limited and irrational view without any counterbalance of normality first of all what is your response to that? i low-key i got the same exact feeling as tate right now like I, i'm not necessarily like i'm not saying that everything but this is weird like what is he talking about yeah that's awful like this I, bro i might be dreaming right now or something like this is so just like thrown out of nowhere like there is clear talking points for him to talk about and it's like he's not even letting him answer questions i mean i'd actually like to know like what percentage pierce has been talking versus tate to that I'm actually nothing to do with you. Yeah, it's, it's, it feels like, like it's like 75 percent. Yeah, it's, it is nothing to do with me. Uh, the fact that a 14 year old girl took her life is truly sad. The world we live in today is the world we live in. The, the fact that something like that happened is almost mind blowing to me. That's truly that's I don't I, I'm not going to come out and say too much, but I feel like there is like an actual bigger underlying problem with that. I feel like the whole social media thing, social media is just toxic, honestly. Like that's I mean, it is. Social media is so toxic, bro. You're able to see only the best of what other people have to offer. And it's like, it's not all that life is. You know what I'm saying? There's good, there's bads, there's ups, there's downs. It's truly sad. I actually feel sad inside to see something like that. What has come yeah, that's awful. clear to me in the interview? I don't think that was happening 20, 30 years ago. At least not as frequently. Definitely there's not the, as frequently. A lot of things you say you wouldn't say now that you've said before. But I'd say them differently, perhaps. You, you, yeah, right. So... To me, that's an acceptance, not just that you want to get back on platforms, because maybe that was one of the reasons you, you were no platform, but that you've recognized and understood the potential harm to the wrong kind of impressionable mind by some of the things you've said. Would that be fair? I think that's 80% fair. I recognize and understand that with massive fame, you have to be more careful about being mis construed like i said earlier one percent of people misunderstanding you doesn't matter with a small audience it matters with a very large audience with power comes responsibility mm. i still believe the things i say that is very true yeah that's most definitely very true. i do not want to be a negative force for the world i also understand that i am a man who's lived a very difficult nuanced life and i am capable of making nuanced points that may be misunderstood by teenagers however okay. that can be said about anybody and everything every opinion online can be misunderstood by children Trying to protect children from the internet is a very interesting subject in and of itself because I would argue that 80% of the content on the internet is can be negative or detrimental to a young mind. Absolutely. And it starts with the news, honestly. I mean, the first thing that you see on the news is just understand negativity. I mean, I don't know, man. That, this interview was a little bit weird. I've heard him talk about that last point where he actually was able to answer this question. He said one time he wants to say things differently kind of like what he was just saying like he doesn't want it to be misconstrued and he has said that he would definitely say things that he said in the past differently but yeah that was just a really weird interview dynamic i mean it wasn't even really an interview it was more like pierce morgan like hitting specific keywords like it really seemed like he was just trying to get certain things across to say that he did the interview and to say that he said these things and to say that he interviewed him in this way it didn't feel like a genuine interview oh uh, but yeah that's all i really got to say about it if you guys enjoyed this end don't forget to drop those likes 
some of them in the comments down below what you guys want to see. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, we're on the road to 4,000. You guys really like the last video I did with Andrew Tate. It seemed like you guys are pretty on board with what I had to say. But most importantly, just always remember to move with love and positivity and just try to do your best to leave a good mark on the world. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Go do something great, go change the world, be a king. I'll catch you guys all later. Peace the fuck out.